Hey what's up folks this is Sora here from Take Care and welcome back to our channel and today I will be uh, showing you only the installation tutorial for Quark OS now uh, first of all this ROM runs on Marshmallow and the amount of time that you are gonna spend on the installation only <laughs> you don't need this ROM skip it a lot of people are actually uh, was saying me was requesting me to do this video and I always try to keep my promise so that's why I'm only showing you the installation because it's a bit tricky watch the video till the end I mean it's still just watch the video till the freaking end first of all switch off your device and press the volume up plus power button press both of them for quite a long time for five to six seconds and it will boot to TWRP recovery make sure you do have a custom recovery then you have to clear Dalvik system data and cache these four things swipe to wipe uh, the thread link will be in the description below and there uh, are a few more things that are in the description below make sure to check that some relevant videos important videos will also be there now you can see quark OS part 1 quark OS part 2 so we are gonna first at first we have to flash this quark OS part 1 uh, I will still say guys uh, you are welcome to download this ROM but I don't think you will be you know you don't feel that kind of a feeling the rom is okay -ish, runs on um, marshmallow so that's a drawback for a lot of people it's actually a skinned lineage os in my opinion it runs well without any issue and we have to flash the g apps on the very first of uh, time you have to again go back to dwrp i will show you that after it's been done and go back from there and then uh, reboot you have to reboot the system so here it is do not install if it is prompting like that to you so sorry for the focus loss so at first it is showing lineage although it's actually quark OS like I said it's a themed or skinned uh, lineage nothing more than that okay in the first boot up after a lot of times you know after installing the ROM all you have to do is that uh, set up the whole thing I mean set up your uh, password set up uh, everything and uh, then just give it your fingerprint and everything just just and just everything and then uh, just got it you are actually in your welcome screen it looks like lineage I don't know why they even tried to make this ROM really it's like a wastage of time you can see it's a lineage OS to be honest I don't know why they have done that at first at least uh, it's lineage OS you can see that and runs on marshmallow so uh, right uh, when it's done when it's everything has been set up by you we have to again go back to TWRP recovery switch off the device yes you have to do it do it twice you got me yes that's why I was telling you the amount of effort that you're gonna put in installing this ROM is not the ROM is not that much great to put that kind of effort as of now again you have to go to the install section don't clear anything just don't clear anything go to the quark OS part 2 just flash you don't have to clear Dalvik you don't have to clear Dalvik cache data or anything just flash it again and it is actually flashing the skin or theme or whatever the patch is it's gonna take a bit of your time so wait for that and after it's done just go to wipe cache slash dalvik uh, yes you have to do that wipe the cache uh, wipe the dalvik and cache it's done reboot the system if if this kind of uh, window arrives do not install that will be your option do not install if you do that it will install uh, the MIUI recovery uh, in in the in, instead of this uh, TWRP and guys if you really love you can see that it's quark OS uh, first it, it was lineage then they have themed it completely with that patch and now it's quark OS so like I was saying guys if you are loving our video make sure to hit the like button and uh, share with your friends as well and also uh, help us to grow our target is 50,000 by the end uh, of 2017 so I'm using the trebuchet or EV okay let's try EV I mean, the name is great EV have you ever seen the V for Vendetta movie there was the girl character right EV and everything was V A V and V and that's movie is great that's one of the favorite one of my most favorite movies so EV needs a lot of uh, attention and a lot of help from me so I have to give that yeah <laughs> I'm sorry
I'm sorry, I couldn't, you know, control myself. I'm sorry. Uh, you can see the whole thing, the quad quest has been themed right here. Uh, I'd still say guys, a lot of people who prefer uh, Android versions over anything, this ROM is not for you. There are some customization and if you tell me to do uh, the in-depth review that I normally do, it's not in-depth actually, but whatever I do, I will definitely do that for you like I do always. And uh, do let me know via the comment section below. I will be waiting for your uh, you know replies or your feedback. But I'm again telling you, uh, not at all, it doesn't deserve all the effort that you put into. You will get all these features in any other ROM, go for any other ROM in, in no good versions. Anyways guys, like this video, loved it, vote it down if you disliked it. Do subscribe to our channel, other videos will be in the cards and on the description, you know, regarding the Redmi Note 4. Till then, stay awesome, stay subscribed.